All right, Connor asks, he's saying he bought some, some line for a spinning reel. Every time he opens the bill, I think he meant to say bail. Smells like me. Problem with this, the line on the spinning reels. This needs to be answered in the garage. All right, had to get a spinning rod in my hand. There's actually a couple of mistakes that people usually make when they're spooling up their spinning rods where they get that line tangle. Number one is they're putting too large of diameter of line on the reel. If you're using a 2500 size spinning reel and you're fishing a fluorocarbon line, you're gonna be maxing out about 12, I mean, 12 pound test is about as heavy as you're gonna go, wanna go on that on that spinning reel to get a, you know an effective line size on there that's not gonna spiral off and get all kinky. This is a one that I usually use if I'm fishing a straight fluorocarbon. This red label here, there's a number of others. Definitely get something that uh, you can manage and a line size that's decent. You know, this is six right here, it's a little this is really light, but you know, somewhere in that eight to 12 range would be perfect um, as far as uh, line size goes in fluorocarbon. Now I use Braid actually, and this is a new line from PowerPro called Max Quattro that's 25% thinner than, than normal Braid. Now the other thing that is uh, a big mistake that people do is they'll, they'll put line on the reel just uh, you know, rolling it, uh, putting it on, rolling it like this, just like you would a bait casting reel. That is the wrong way to do it. You want to lay the spool flat like this, go through this first li uh, line type the, or guide right here, and you want to lay the spool flat and re then reel in the line because that is the way it comes off the spool so it's not twisting, if that makes sense. So if you do get some line twist while you're doing that, you can, you can flip it over but for the most part, you're gonna be fine. Low diameter, lay this full flat, go through this eye right here, reel it in, and I also like to use a little bit of a uh, line conditioner, KVD uh, line conditioner. I don't have any near me, but that is how you get uh, line twist out of your spinning rods.